Sara Vicenta Zimmerman Duterte, popularly known as Inday Sara, is the second child of President Rodrigo Duterte and Elizabeth Zimmerman. She completed her elementary and high school at the Philippine Women's College in Davao City. She's a very shy student during that time. The way she expressed her ideas in writing, Jan, for me, magaling siya because uh, I really noticed her writing skills. And I really appreciated uh, the way she organized her thoughts, the way she expressed them and put them into writing. Even as a young girl, she has displayed her inclination to politics as an officer of the student council. She learns by experience and through others. She took respiratory therapy at San Pedro College, hoping to pursue a career in medicine. But she later shifted to law and passed the bar in 2006. It was in law school that she met her future husband, Manasses Carpio. She's a sweet mom. You see the kids when she comes in from work, how they cling to her. Sara first joined local politics as Davao City Vice Mayor before eventually becoming mayor. She's often compared to her populist father. Both of them are lawyers who ventured into politics and shared a common passion, big bikes. But Sara admits she is way closer to her mom, Elizabeth. They've always been close. Especially when her mom got sick, she was really there. I know that si Tita Beth really has a very uh, great influence on her. Contrary to her image as a feisty, no-nonsense political figure, Sarah keeps a funny side too. <laughs> but when it comes to work, colleagues can attest there's no questioning the dedication she pours into everything she does. I would describe that she's really a workaholic. She's on top of everything. She's very strict in terms of work, especially that she's always, always reminding us that uh, you have to work with discipline, integrity, and competence in serving the people. Among her primary advocacy, looking after children's welfare and peace building in conflict-torn communities. Because when you want to, to end violence, uh, especially this one, is, I, as I said, went on for 40 years, you have to restore the legitimacy of the state. If you want to restore state, legitima state legitimacy, a credible political leader is key. Sara is known for her charity works, something her close friends say she'd rather do out of the public eye. Among those, she has helped troops wounded in military action, indigent parents who need medical care for their kids, and even street vendors who need a boost in their income. Hindi nakikita ng lahat ng tao yung tulong na ginagawa niya. At 43, Sara is the country's youngest vice president. She is the third female to occupy the post and the first from Mindanao. She is also the third offspring of a president to be elected vice president. David Santos, CNN Philippines.